Hey guys, what is up? This is the Loaf of Bread here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make an animated channel banner. That is right, I said an animated channel banner. This means that it will have multiple frames, it will not be a still image, it will be changing, and it will just be way more attractive and make your channel look way more professional because not a lot of people know about this yet. Okay guys, so here is a preview of what the banner will look like as a finished product. This is what I made with this tutorial. And so how we're going to do this, if we're going to make a um, GIF or GIF image, whatever it's called, please don't read me in the comments if I didn't call it how you prefer it. But um, it, we're going to make a GIF image, and this is going to be very simple and easy for anyone to do as long as you have Photoshop. So we're going to do this step by step, and so um, let's just go into step one now. Okay guys, so step one is you want to download my template. And so what the template will have in it is the text which will just say like you know name and that will be in the center of the screen and then you will have this banner template folder which has two different colors so let me just turn all of this off this light gray um, signifies what someone will see if they are on mobile device then or tablet then this is the desktop for the dark gray that's how big you see the desktop and then all of this, the whole area, is what you would see on a TV, but you don't, um, no one watches it on TV anyway, so we're just making it for desktop. Okay, so now you should be here, you should have the template, and you probably want a different color for your name. So what you want to do is you want to just highlight the letters and click up here, and then choose a color. So just slide it along here, you don't even need to change it, just slide it along here. So let's say I like purple a lot, I can change it to a purple, I can change it to a green, and it looks really nice in my opinion, just the gradient. So I'm going to do, um, let's just go with a uh, purple. That, I like the, no, let's go with a, uh, yeah, light purple. There we go. So we got purple, right? So um, that's step two, changing the color of our name. And we also want to change it to whatever our name is. So I'm just going to put the loaf of bread here. And you'll notice that this goes off to the side. It's not centered. So you want to hold, you want to have this layer selected and then hold control and click the very top layer, which is um, the overlay part that covers up the other areas. And you just click the center button up here and that should put it in the very center and so now we can go into step two okay guys so step two is you want to get images um, for the background because what's going to be changing is the background and so what we want to do is we want to get around four to five images you can have more or less but four to five looks the best and um, you want to have four or five images representing your channel so I have an image of Counter-Strike I have an image of Minecraft I have an image of Call of Duty and I have an image of League of Legends. So this is just for example, I don't actually do all those on my channel, but this is just for an example. So let's say I played all those games on my channel. I get an image for each of them and I make sure it looks nice behind the text um, in the background. So that looks nice, this looks nice, that looks nice, and this looks nice. And it all fits into the area as you guys can see. So um, now we can go into step three. So step three, you want to highlight or turn on one of the images um, in the layer. You want to have one um, layer turned on. And you go to Window, and then you go to Timeline. And this should pull up this. It's a Timeline window, and you'll see um, it has one frame in it right now. So this frame should have the image that you see right here. So you see how it's the Counter-Strike, and you guys probably can't see that. I can't really see it either, but it has a little Counter-Strike image in there. Now what we want to do is we want to click this button, which will add another frame, and then we just unhighlight this and highlight the next one, and you'll see it changes down there in the little um, preview. And so we just do that until we go through all our images. And so since I have four, it will be um, four different frames. And so now you'll see if we go between each frames, it just switches. But that's really fast, right? So we need to make sure this lasts for more than one second. So we can have it set for um, 0.5 seconds. We can have it set for one second. I think 0.5 looks the best. So if you just want to click the little down arrow and click 0.5 for all of them, we can see how this looks. So now if I press play, actually let's set it to one, minute, one second because I think um, 0.5 is a little too fast. So let's just set it to one second. And you can, of course, do whatever you want with this. Um, I'm just doing what looks best to me. 
So this is switching between each of them. That looks good to me. If you want to do two seconds, you want to, you know, have a little bit more of a preview of each picture, you can do that if you want, or you can make it go a lot faster. But this is what I'm going to stick with. So this looks really nice to me now. So now the next thing I want to do is finally save it. So on to step four, saving it. Okay, guys, so now that we have our whole animation done and we want to save it and put it on YouTube, so we're going to do File, Save for Web. Most of you guys are probably used to Save As, but you want to do Save for Web. Then you want to do the Profile, um, GIF 128 Dithered, and you can zoom out and see how that looks. And, um, and so now all you have to do is click Save, save it to a specific loca location, so um, image only, set that to image only, be sure it's not HTML, and then we can just save that as animated banner. And so I'm going to save that, there we go. Now if I go to my folder where I saved it to, and I open it up, and I actually you have to open this up with a web browser, so let me just get a new Google Chrome tab real quick guys. So now we just have a new tab in Google Chrome right here. If I just drag this over here into the bar up here, you will see it is an animated banner. And so all you have to do is go to YouTube where you upload the banner and um, upload this file instead of a normal PNG file. And so this looks really sleek. It looks really nice and clean in my opinion. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully you think this looks good. If you do, please be sure to leave a like and comment because if you don't like, I don't know if you liked it. And if you don't like it then I won't make more of these tutorials but if you do like it then I'll be sure to you know try and make more of these tutorials because I want to put out what you guys want to see okay guys so if you enjoyed um, please leave a like like I said I just said that way too many times um, comment rate and subscribe and until next time goodbye Oh